All right, here we go. Mario's, uh, Maribo's final smash. Here we go. It's not bad. Um, it's like, it's like, I feel like once again, we have the de facto final smash to go off of. And that one is like a solid, like, I'd give it a six. It's, it's okay. Mario, for some reason, it's a huge fireball. I don't know if that's directly, I mean, it's cute, but I don't think it's amazing. So six out of 10. Clink. So this is essentially Omni Slash. Uh, I think we need to see it one more time because it has a it has a pretty decent distance that it covers. Pretty far. Uh, I mean, it's it's not bad, but I don't I don't maybe unless my Zelda lore is completely wrong. I don't think it's referencing any specific attack. Uh, it's just kind of like you beat the hell out of them, uh, which is still cool. So I'd give it about a seven out of ten. Okay. DK, we're gonna wreck this Mario guy. Let's do the actual right timing. And there goes Mario. Okay, so there's... There's the correct timing, uh, because Donkey Kong guy. Still, 4 out of 10. Still a 4 out of 10. All right, here we go, little boy. Oh, wow. Zip. Okay, so that's the first one, and I'm, we're about to get the second one because I just dropped off pieces of my ass and I'm about to throw them at this little boy. Uh, so that was the first one, and I give it a six. It's fairly basic. Zero Suit Samus. Hmm. Hmm. Don't. Was that really it? I'd I'd probably give that one like uh, a three. I'm I'm just I'm just kind of shocked that that was it. All right, Kerbin. I kind of love it. Uh, I I kind of love it because it it's weird and wacky. I want to see it. I want to see it again. Scoops you in, salt and pepper. And I like that you get random items out of it, too. Um, that's cute. I'd actually give that one a, uh, I give it a 7 out of 10. Maybe, maybe that's being too generous, maybe a 6, but I'm gonna go with at least a 7 on that one. All right, I think we all know what this one is. Lemonade! Yep, and you, uh, you go right over here and blow his ass up, and the most important part, you just take him up there and you kill him. Yep, that's, uh, yep, I mean, I'm gonna give it a another seven for like effort. Okay, so here's here's the brevity of moves it has. Get out of here, kid. Doink. And it's, it can it can move, it can roll. Sometimes. I mean, or sometimes it just there we go. Get out of here, child. Uh, yeah, I still it's still a seven out of ten. All right, Pikachu. Oh, it's like Sonic's! It literally is. Okay, hard, hard to control. Uh, oh, yep, yep. Kind of meant for multiple players. And it didn't really KO even that much. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to hit him. Poke Pokemon! I'm stuck! Great super. Great super. F four out of ten. There we go. Let's see. Uh, a, a direct reference from the games he's from, uh, but and ultimately not very flashy super, but with a decent reference. Um, hmm. That changed very little. I give that one a five out of ten. Five, five out of ten. All right, Mr. Watching Game. I'm gonna touch you! I'm gonna touch you! I think this was a boss in the old Game & Watch game. I can't even turn it around! Take that, shitty Mario! <laughs> uh, cute Sakurai. Cute. I'm gonna give it... 
I'm gonna- I'm gonna give it a six, because it's kind of neat. It's kind of- it's obscure, that's for sure. Luigi. What is- why does he have a sex dance? And he's got a sex bubble! What is this, Luigi? I- I'm gonna- I'm gonna have to get the deep lore on this- on this shit, man. Because I don't- I have what? What? What is he? What is it? In what game does he do that? I was expecting something from like Luigi's Mansion or something like that. I was gonna give it a five, but I'll give it a six because he probably spent a long time on the dance. Here we go! Bang, 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 bang! Bang, 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 bang! Bang, bang, bang! Alright, this is aggressive. Okay. I believe Donkey- I believe Diddy having guns is a reference to Donkey Kong 64, even though I didn't play it. But I am a Donkey Kong expert. I do- I do, yo, video games with a real gorilla. So, uh, that's not bad. I mean, I give that one a seven. I give that one a seven. It's pretty cute. Here we go! Shoink! Wow, that kills on one hit in this game. Uh, it's Zelda's golden piercing arrow. I know all the lore. Uh, I played Twilight Princess, so I'm an expert officially. Uh, but it's just an arrow. Five out of ten. Uh, Sheiks. I don't even remember what the hell this is. Oh, never mind. It's the exact same damn thing. That one gets a six because it's a cool ninja girl. Pit to this. Uh, something. Move out. Yes, and all of his little dickhead friends. Uh, all right. Then you get- you get assaulted by all the guys that used to beat you up on the Nintendo. Not bad. It's a reference. It's a Sakurai game. Uh, six out of ten. Six out of ten. It's okay. Metal Knight. It's like a raging demon, but it's lame! Um, he puts you under his cloak and he smells his pits? And then you get jacked up? Ah, uh, it could have been so much cooler. I- I'll still give it a six. But it's- it could have been so much cooler. Do three characters really have Landmaster? That is impossible. That is impossible. Personally, I prefer the end. Oh my god, it is! Does it do anything different? Spin? Okay, it- unable to spin. Okay, has spin. Wow! Wow! I don't know what we gave it before, but I'm giving this one a 3 out of 10, man! Same shit? That's super lame. Alright, here we go. Squirtle- Squirtlemon. Oh god. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's a- it's- it's a beam finisher, uh... But I don't think it's bad. You realize, like, this is before the game got really cinematic. There's not a crazy amount of cinematic supers. I think the one we saw the most was probably Kirby. I like it how it's got, like, the little Game Boy font down there. That's cute. Uh, I give it a seven. I don't think that one's that bad. Ick! Uh, here we go. Wow. It's a little cinematic, too, so it's kind of neat. Um, I, uh, I give that one an eight. It's, it's very Omni-slash-esque, but I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Rob, you're gonna get it, you son of a bitch. It's showtime. It's showtime. Oh, one of the best damn supers in the game. Wait, he's coming back? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's just, let's kill him again! Oh, look at that. You did. Snake turns into a kill streak. 10 out of 10. Friggin' 10 out of 10. I might have a small amount of bias because this was my main in this game. But 10 out of 10, I love it. Here we go. The Peach. She puts you to sleep. And then she chows down while you're sleeping. And then she gives you the... Uh, that was the... There's the frying pan. Oh yeah, I got it. We got we got to see the frying pan. Uh, that was the golf club from Mario Golf. That was the golf club from Mario Tennis. There's the tennis racket from Mario Golf. Doink. Um. All right. I give it a five out of ten. <laughs> it's only okay. 
Peach, it's your ship. You have to go down with the ship. Good. I do not know. I'm assuming it's going to involve, uh, balls and eggs that come from Yoshi's... ...male, uh, uterus? Don't worry about it. Oh no, he turns into an angel! And he spits at you, and he spits at all the other guys! Oh god. Okay, piloting this thing, it's just... It's just a bad version of... Hey, hey, uh, it's just a bad version of Sonic's! Again, um... It's cute. I'm gonna give it, uh... Uh... Six out of ten. More Mar- it's Mario World, yeah. Uh, six out of ten. All right, here we go. Turns into the Twilight Princess monster. Um, fat, crazy bear pig from Princess Mononoke. It's cool. Uh, seven out of ten. All right, Olimar, take this. What? Oh God! We put more ice on top of the ice, and it started whacking him. Okay, so you get anywhere close to the ice. Oh, it actually acts as part of the stage, and we both died. Uh, I think it's cute that it changes the stage. Uh, but it's not, like, amazing. I give it that one a five. I think that's an interesting addition. There's not been many characters, supers, that change stages, at least in their final smashes. King Diddy! Like, can I control this? Nope. Oh. He just summons a bunch of assholes. Oh, it's a... Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Um... I... I'll give it a six. I'll give it a six. It's it's only okay. We're gonna have fun, We're gonna have fun in my land, Master! Ooh, it's red! It's red! Amazing! And I have my jets, and I can take him sky high! Take that, stupid elf boy! Um... I don't even know what I gave the other ones, but... Four. Okay, Lucario! Not a lot of damage, uh, but kind of neat. I mean, at least considered you get a cool camera angle and he does big, large super thing. Hold on a second, can I change anything of it? Uh, it literally is a Kamehameha. Uh, Kamehameha super, I give it a 4 out of 10. A uh, 4 out of 10, it's still kind of neat. Come on, man. Work with me here. Alright, Ness! Three out of ten. Three out of ten, and I'm being generous. Sonic the Hurge Hag! Here, I'll show you! My name is Sonic the Hurtag! I almost killed myself! That's what I do every day! I come close to death! <laughs> That's his voice. Uh, that is what he sounds like. Wow, this thing is actually not that... Like, of all the other... I can actually control this. Like, of the other characters like Yoshi and other characters that have transformed supers, Sonic's is actually controllable. Um... Eh, it's not bad. I mean... I'm actually gonna give it a 7 out of 10 for gameplay reasons, and even for cinematic, because it's not... terrible. Alright, er, 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 er. Yeah, it is Giga Bowser. God, this guy's crazy looking. How about the fire? So there's not really a lot of change of moves. And it's, he's very slow during it. Um, I think Giga Bowser's a cool design, but... It's okay. Uh, I'd still... I, if the moves were slightly different, unless I'm, like, missing something, um, I'd still only give it, like, a 6 out of 10. I kind of would like if... You know what, let's check something really fast. Let's I'm gonna actually search a little bit more. I like, I like this, so he grinds across the ground. He doesn't even hit you, though. 
Okay. Yeah, he's damn, he's really cool looking. I'll give it I still give it a six out of ten. Alright, Wario time. Oh, he turns into that stupid <sighs> Really? Another transformation super. Holy crap! You can like do moves into moves. Uh at least it feels that way. Dainty. Not bad, WarioWare man. Uh, not not bad. I still give it a six out of ten, though. It's okay. I hate these stupid things. How they have like reverse polarity to them. All right. Uh, so same thing. Like literally, is the same one as the Twilight Princess one, maybe with some subtle differences. I can't- so whatever I gave Link's, I give the same one to that one. It's like a... 6, maybe a 7 out of 10, something like that? Alright, so Rob's is... Oh, we can do laser zaps. Yeah, his- 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 his, uh, side smash seems to have, like, greater distance and range. But it essentially is spicy curry Rob. And he's invincible during it. Or, almost, for the most part. Ah, it's like a 4 out of 10. <laughs> Like, it seems like you could have done something so cool. He could have taken you into, like, Virtual Boy World. And everyone gets eye cancer. Olimar! Oh my god! Wow, so you get softened up on the bottom, and then the rocket comes down? That one's actually really cool! Wow, goodbye, Ganon. Uh, 8 out of 10. Yeah, I give it like close, maybe a, maybe a nine, but uh, at least an eight out of ten. I like it a lot. Captain Kalkin. Wow, uh, Captain Falcon's got a big cinematic one, dude. Uh, this might be the best one in the game, at least next to Snake. Uh, I'm watching it again. Hold on. Yeah, uh, 10 out of 10. Absolutely 10 out of 10. Probably probably the best one in the game. Cool and cinematic. I hope that one didn't even change very much in the next Smash, because it's really good. Okay, here we go. Piggly Juff. Oh, God. Oh, God. I had a dream like this once. That was weird. That was weird. Uh, 5 out of 10. I don't really, I don't know what to think. Uh, New Pork City Lucas. <laughs> Two out of ten. Alright, so with that being every character in Smash Brawl and the first time you would see cinematic slash final smashes or supers for all the characters. I'd say the two that definitely shine the strongest are... Captain Kalkin and, uh, Ekans. Uh, both of them are... Snakes is great because he literally becomes a kill streak. Um, and Captain Falcons is, like, the epitome of what you want out of a cool cinematic super. Like, they are... perfect for that shit. So, uh, I think Brawl was, like, the beginning. And I think they sort of figured out by Ultimate Smash what to do with these things to make them big and cinematic, like they're actual supers and not just, like, installs. Because the majority of them in Smash Brawl are installs where your character gets buffed out for a little bit. And I think that's only... okay. I think it's gonna get a bit better when we check out Smash 4, but... for the most part, yeah, there's a couple of really badass ones in here. And, uh, the best part is that we're gonna get to do these way more frequently in the new one, thank God! I've been saying since Smash Brawl that they should have a meter of some kind for the supers. And look what they did! They did it! So, uh, I'm very excited for that. I'm very excited.